Welcome, Colin. How are you today? Good, how are you? Great, thank you. Thank you for joining us. We'll go ahead and open it up for questions. Again, please raise the hand icon on your page if you have a question. Let's start with Michael Swain of 24-7 Sports. Hey Colin, I'm just curious what you've seen from some of the younger pieces on the offensive line. Maybe not necessarily even guys like Daryl or Jake, but someone maybe like Grant Schreiber, who's got in, you know, at the end of some games. What have you seen from maybe some of these younger pieces on the offensive line? Yeah, you know, I think they've done a really good job this year. Um, I'd say as a whole, um, guys have just continued to develop throughout the season. Um, you know, you talk, you said Grant Triber, that's a big name that he just continues to get better every single day. Um, uh, Tyler Miller, Hayden Pauls, all those guys, um, they just continue every single day to get better. And uh, it's been really, really fun to watch them uh, continue to develop and um, be a large part of the success of our defense as well, because every day they're the ones giving them the looks and everything. And um, it can get tough and kind of long season being that position. Um, but they've done a really, really good job of it I, from what I've seen um, and just continue to get better themselves. Let's go to Randy Peterson. Thanks, Dave. Colin, um, back when you started playing and actually back when you were sitting on the hill, maybe as a kid watching Iowa State, you heard the criticism about the offensive line. Um, and today you're hearing no criticism about the offensive line. Why has the offensive line improved from the point where it was people fans thought it was a it was not a good offensive line to right now it's one of the best. Um, and what do you tell those what do you say to those fans who were once critical but now are praising you? Um, you know, uh, it's a it's a tough position. Um, it's a position that uh, takes a while to develop. And you know, um, Coach Campbell. Coach Myers, Coach Manning, all those guys have done an absolute wonderful job um, just developing us. And um, it's a learned position and they've done a good job of teaching us. And I feel like even the, you know, the guys that have come before us have been a huge part of the success that we've been able to um, build upon and continue to grow with. Um, so I think, I think it's just uh, Coach Myers has done a, a fantastic job with us. Um, and I think he's, I think he's a huge part of our success, getting us ready every single week. Um, getting extra work with us, extra film, um, helping us any way he can to make sure that we're in the best position possible. I think uh, a lot of credit goes to him. We have a question from Jonathan Schaefer with WOI. Hey, Colin, what's it, how, how difficult is it preparing for a team that hasn't played, you know, double digit games this season? Yeah, you know, it's just kind of like this whole season, just, uh, just a little bit different than we've had in the past. Um, obviously, we just got to look at the film and uh, diagnose what they've done this year and in years past. And, uh, you know, I think they've still played six games, so we have at least some stuff to watch from this year and can look at what they like to do and their tendencies and all that sort of stuff. But, um, you know, you just got to do what you got to roll with what you got and uh, nothing else you can really do after that. Jonathan, did you have a follow-up question? Um, yeah, and then along those lines, as an offensive line, how big is the tight end group been, and and specifically these three guys? What what's it been like to watch their evolution? Yeah, you know, they're all they're all first of all they're all a bunch of great guys. Um, they love football, they love this team, and they would do anything for us. You know, they show that every single day when. They'll stick their nose in their block, and then the next play they'll go catch a 50-yard pass and touchdown and all that stuff. And um, it's really awesome to see them just be able to stick their nose in there. And it helps helps our whole team out so much with them being able to help in the run game and um, in the pass game, really. Um, it's really, truly really awesome to see what they do because they all work so hard. They've all had their own adversities. And they're all playing their best football of their career um, at a really, really high level. Let's go to Jet Beecham with KGAN. Hi, Colin. Following up uh, off of what you have seen on film with a few games, uh, what kind of jumps off the page, you know, and what, what do you see first uh, when looking at that Oregon defensive line? Yeah, they're extremely talented. Um, what they've been able to do this season um, is is really impressive. You know, it's uh, they had a late start to the season, and 
Um, they played six games, and but what they the production that they've had, um, the talent that they have on that line, um, as deep as they are, they have a lot of guys who play um, in the box, and they just uh, are all guys that fly around, play their hardest, and um, every single play they're they're giving their all. Um, so looking forward to a really good matchup there. Colin, if I could ask you one word to describe this team, what would what would that be? Mm. I'd say passion, um, passion for each other, passion for our coaches, um, passion for the game of football. Um, everyone cares about each other, and I think it's just a it's been a really special group to uh, be a part of this season for sure. Let's go to Michael Swain. Hey, Colin, you guys got PlayStation 5s um, for being a part of the bowl game. Are you much of a, a gamer? And I guess what was maybe your reaction when you got it? Yeah, you know, there's a lot of, it was a lot of talk about that. And I don't really game, so I don't know how much I'll use it. I think it's kind of cool to have because it's such a hot piece right now. Everyone wants it. And everywhere you look, people are, people are wanting to get a PS5. And I have a lot of friends that, um, we're trying to get it and then they heard we we're getting it here and all that stuff. So um, that's really cool. But I feel like, you know, game systems, they stick around for a while. So I feel like it'll be like the game system for the next five or six years. So um, it'll be cool to have, but I'm not really a big gamer. I'll probably play it once a month. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Last time I picked up a video game. Uh, let's go to Randy Peterson. Colin, when you saw yes, yesterday, I believe it was, that Brees was a first team All-American, what's the first thing you thought of and what kind of gratification did you get from that? Yeah, you know, obviously, um, guy works so hard and uh, I'm just so happy for him because he sacrificed so much this year, um, just like everyone has. And, uh, you know, he's always in there. He's talking to offensive linemen, making sure that we're good on plays, talking to us on uh, protections, um, just seeing, asking us what we see in plays. And uh, it's just been awesome to see uh, how his hard work has translated to so much success and really making us look good. So uh, it's just awesome to see uh, what his hard work and all those guys who got those uh, awards um, really get their, get their, because I mean, they're all the hardest working guys in the room, um, in the building really. So uh, it's just so awesome to see their success for sure. Jonathan? I think Randy had a follow-up really quick. No, oh, I'm sorry, Randy, go right ahead. I'm breaking the rules here. Um, <laughs> one, more, one more thing, Colin, thanks, John. One more thing, Colin, uh, we'll, get De we'll get Denise through this. One more, <laughs> one more thing, Colin. Um, does Brees take you guys out to dinner or, or, or anything like that? I think we're planning on one after the season. Once, we, uh, once we're able to do stuff again, um, get out and have some dinner for sure. Okay, now we'll go to Jonathan. Sorry about that, Denise. Um, so Colin, I, I gotta ask too, you know, how exhausting has this season been to, when you look back at March of earlier this year, getting to this point was, you know, one, how exhausting has it been? And was there any question of, of playing in a bowl game for this team? Like, is it worth it, so to speak? No, I don't feel like that's been, been a question that we've had at all. All of us, you know, um, we sacrificed so much um, throughout this whole year. You know, it's it's a weird year for everyone. And um, football has been our escape to real back to our reality, you know. Um, we've been able to uh, come into the facility, be ourselves, have fun, um, practice, have games, all that stuff. You know, we've had extra stuff along the way. But, uh, you know, all of us love football. And um, to have that regular sense – in our lives is something that, you know, uh, has been really probably important for everyone in this building, um, keeping their sanity a little bit. So um, I think it's just, we wanna, we, we all love each other so much and we wanna spend as much time together as we can. Um, so I think there was never any sort of question about if we wanna play in this game at all. Colin, 
Colin, if I could ask you too, not only playing in the Fiesta Bowl for the first time, but the fact that it is the 50th anniversary, um, so historic in nature, what does that mean to the team? I mean, that's, that's really cool. I didn't know that actually until right now, um, that it's the 50th Fiesta Bowl. That's really cool because it's, it is a very prestigious bowl. Um, growing up, obviously, a football fan and an Iowa State fan, uh, you'd always watch TV and um, see the Fiesta Bowl on, but it wasn't like Iowa State was really playing in it, so... Um, it's more so just uh, uh, a watch and um, get to a, get a watch another game of good game of football. So um, it's really cool to be a part of history and uh, all that. Yeah. Let's go back to Jonathan. Did you guys challenge yourselves at all after that Big 12 championship where maybe it wasn't one of the stronger games of your season? Oh, absolutely. You know, um, we just had to had to learn from our mistakes, you know, um, you got to continue to get better and uh, there's going to be things that pop off and we were able to correct from things that we saw in the film. And um, for us, it's just, we want to get better and we want to reach our full potential. Um, Coach Campbell worked so hard for us and um, has challenged us in so many ways. It's just really exciting to, uh, you know, just, just because we all care about each other so much. So uh, absolutely. There's a, a lot of things we went back to the drawing board and um, for sure. Colin, with everything you've been through this year as a team, individually, as a student athlete, how has it changed you, if it has at all, in, as far as your approach to your position, to football in general? Yeah, you know, I think it's just given me a lot of, um, I, I owe so much to football because, you know, you hear so much about people dealing with uh, so many things right now with the, the pandemic going on and, um quarantining and not seeing family for Christmas and all that stuff. And uh, it just makes it so real, you know, um, all of us are excited to see our families again and all that, but um, we're just so thankful that we've had football to uh, guide us through these tough times and give us a sense of regular again. Any other questions for Colin? Oh, James. Yes. Let's go to James. Colin, just what have you seen uh, on tape of Oregon's the line, uh, the, particularly the interior guys, uh, 399, 97, uh, the guys who you'll be matching up with most. Uh, what, what do you think of those uh, individual matchups you'll be having? Oh, absolutely. They're, uh, they're really talented. All of them are really talented guys. All of them are physical. Um, they're good in run and pass. And uh, they just have a knack for being around the football at all play, all times. Um, their production's off the charts, and um, they're uh, they're really an explosive group. Who uh, you can tell that they're really passionate about football with how they play. James, a follow up question. Yeah, just one more, Colin. Since you're at the center position, have to make so many calls along the line. Oregon's defense it employs a few exotic things in particular, uses a lot of personnel, particularly in the front seven, uh, situational stuff, either in pass rush or, you know, heavy stuff uh, against a team like you guys with 13 personnel. Just how much is it, does it compare to anybody you guys have played in terms of just the complexity um, and the variety? Cause they, they do alternate quite a few guys in the front seven. Yeah. You know, that's, that's one thing for sure. That's jumped off the, uh, jumped off the film to me is just how they, uh, they get to so many different uh, fronts and so many different looks every uh, every game. And, you know, I think they do a really good job of planning or game planning for a team um, to make sure that they're always in their best, um, their best front to uh, give the team problems. Um, and you said their depth, they have a lot of depth at every single position. Um, and yeah, for sure. That's something that we've, uh, we've definitely had to take a hard look at over this last week and a half now and, game planning for this game. Randy? Colin, in, in years past, um, Iowa State linemen have been, got banged up quite often. And I know there's been a few, there's been a few this year, but you and um, what's his face on the left, Foster, have, have played every game, maybe every snap. Heck, I don't know. Um, how have you managed to stay healthy and, and what role has, has Andrews played in that? Oh, absolutely. Um, 
I think it's just been a, a ton of credit to Coach Andrews keeping us healthy throughout the year. That's a that's a tough tough task to be uh, responsible for keeping guys healthy, keeping them strong, keeping them in shape. Um, you know, it's obviously a physical position where you get a lot of wear and tear and you play a lot of snaps. Um, but he's done a wonderful job just making sure that everyone's on the same page, everyone feels good, and uh, everyone's feeling strong going into a game. So I think he's been a huge part of our success up front as well. Any other questions? Okay, well, that will wrap up our interview with uh, Colin. Thank you so much for joining us. Safe travels to Arizona and congratulations. Thank you guys, have a good one.